When Russia joined this organization in 1998, the key question in this hemicycle was, will Council of Europe change Russia or, or will Russia change the Council of Europe? I think the, in my view, unethical and aggressive way in which our Secretary General tried to intervene and influence debate demonstrates how much Russia succeeded in changing uh, the Council of Europe. It is regrettable, very regrettable, that the Secretary General of the organization that Winston Churchill established is embracing false arguments that an aggressor is presenting uh, uh, before us. Specifically, for example, when it comes to the European Court of Human Rights and the election of judges, the argument is that at some point more than half of the judges will be elected without Russian parliamentarians. But in 1998, when Russia joined, none of the judges were elected by Russian parliamentarians, and that was okay. The Sec Secretary General al also forgets that the uh, Russian Constitutional Court can overturn any judgment of the European Court of Human Rights, and has indeed done so uh, already. The argument on money is also false and fake, because the amount in question is not that great. And if we redistribute the amount per member state, it's less than a million euros, which even for a poor country like Georgia is, is uh, okay. Colleagues, Irritation is common reaction when people like me draw historical parallels. People say, how can we compare modern Russia to the Soviet Union? Of course, these are two different countries and the dark day days of Stalinism uh, are over. But the logic of Russian foreign policy uh, has not changed. These parallels are inescapable. For example, when the Soviet Union invaded Finland, the League of Nations didn't change its rules. The League of Nations expelled uh, uh, expelled. Uh, the Soviet Union. I was glad to hear a very good quote by Winston Churchill about uh, appeasement and the war and, and honor. There is another great quote which excellently applies to today's debate, which is about uh, an appeaser. An appeaser, Winston Churchill said, is the one who is trying to feed the crocodile, hoping to be eaten last. I'm appealing to the colleagues who, are, who want to vote for this uh, report in good faith hoping that once the Russian members who represent not a democratic parliament, because Duma is not democratically elected, once the Russian members are back here, it will be somehow okay. It will somehow work. Colleagues, it will not be okay. It will not be okay. Because making this exception to Russia that invades its neighbors and does all the things, including in my country, including ethnic cleansing that is recognized by this very body, making an exception to Russia will tear this organization apart. Make no mistake. So when you sit down at the end of the debate to, to vote for or against this report, remember this political context. Because vote cast in favor of this report in this political context would amount, amount to legitimation of all the actions that Russia has carried out and intends to carry out in the future. Thank you.